There it is then. The final of the under 48 kilo category. Mungpat Urantsetse of Mongolia faces Galbadrak Otkotsetse of Kazakhstan. I have to pause there because there is an incredible temptation to say Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I resist that. Vance Snick, Mestra Alvarez, Kondo, and can't remember who she beat first, but she had a good day. Really, really good day. This is absolutely what Gal Badrak needed. She needed some big points, and she'll get those now. Ir irrespective of what happens in the final, this will really lift her up the ranking list. Absolutely. At the moment, she's uh, placed as 23rd. But already that final will lift yeah. her up. Yes, that is right. I mean, if she if she wins it, I mean, really, that will be something special. Yes. It will take her in, in the it, qualification. Yeah, it will take her inside the qualification. Yes. She will yep. qualify. So here we go then. Gal Badrak Odkonsetsi faces her former teammate. Mungpat Uran Tsetsig. Mm -hmm. Current number, world number one. A former world champion as well. Yeah. You know, is, she, is she ready for the Mungpat challenge, do you think? I, I think she had an incredible good day today. Yeah, you're right. The opponent she won against today. You, you mentioned it. The first fight was l ma maybe a warm-up for her against Tunisia, Saudi. Then Kondoami, the number two seed. Former world champion. Yes. Then we had the Cuban, and then we had Van Snick. So yeah, I mean, those are all quality fighters. Yeah. It was a shame that when we were in Astana, she just you know, wasn't ready yet. That would have been nice for her. It just came a few months too early. Mm. This little championship, yeah. You know. You know. No, no world championships this year. We've got the Olympic Games. So that, that's the, the big one. We've got the Asian championships to come in April. That will be the... The finisher, if you like, you know. Ooh. Oh, oh, yes. That was good. He's on the board. Yes. Oh, bad rack. Whoa. What a thing. <laughs> just shook Monk back there. Couldn't step off it. Yeah. She tried two, two or three ways. One with the foot, one with the hand. A little bit with the head. Yep. Yeah. Clear, yeah. Yuko. Yeah. Belgian, yeah, I'm watching on. Mungpat Uran Setsek won the last Paris Grand Slam. Belgian, yeah, wasn't in the chair earlier on, you know, for Mungpat. Anyway, he's in there now. Yep. Sumigaishi from Mungpat. Still trying to turn over. She's got nice newazo as Munkbat. That's one of the things that the Munkbat over and above the skills of her teammates in the women's team. That's what she's been able to develop better than they have, her ground game. She matches well the the Japanese lightweights. Really does. Yes. Tape around the head of Galbad Rack is from a clash of heads earlier on with Kondo. Mm -hmm. Kondo came off worse for wear. <laughs> but 
Oh, chance on the arm. That was yeah. swift, wasn't it? Yeah. Neat little effort. And again, the Sankaku attempt from Mongbat. Yeah, she she good reaction knows, there from yeah. Gal Batrak. She was looking there for the Osei Komi. Yeah, get out of there. That was, <laughs> but it was dangerous. Yeah. And then she <laughs> maneuvered herself into the position where when the yeah. Nevasa broke down, the referee would have to call Mate once they were off the, off the mat. So only a minute left. An exciting final. Missed Ochigari. Again for the Sumige Ishii. Mm -hmm. Galbadrak just covers up. She knows only too well what it's like to be <laughs> on the receiving end of Niwa's action from yeah. Monkbat, who just grinds the knee in a little bit, you know, just a yeah. reminder of <laughs> who's on top. But as she does that, so too does the clock. Exactly. Just tick away and yep. bringing Galbadrak ever closer to a Grand Slam win. Well, they signed the waiver and said, okay, you can go to Kazakhstan. And a year or so later, here she is, taking the Paris Grand Slam title. Mm, she was yeah. looking there for yeah. a choke, but anyway, it's Absolutely too late. Absolutely delighted. She must be over the moon here. <laughs> yes. And not just to win the Paris Grand Slam, but to defeat Munkbat Grandsetzig in the final. Of course, Munkbat must be, you know. Yeah, there's no, there's no love there. That's a, just a, a friendly tap and a handshake, and I'm off, mate. I'm off. Great work for, yeah, first Grand Slam gold medal. Wow. And she does it, not only knocking off um, Kondo Ami, the former world champion on her way but a former teammate in the final and another former world champion. She stuffs two world champions yeah. on her way to the gold medal. It was such a big meaning, such an importance, also personally. Yeah. Her concurrent, former national concurrent, now yeah. international, she showed her <laughs> for today. Nice mm, left hand, number one. you know. Yeah. Foot in there as well, of course, but just keeps Munkbat nice and close to her, that left hand, as she wheels her over. Yep. 